Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are taking it way back. We are doing a car wash and we're taking care of the Ford Raptor today. I know this is something that I haven't done in a long time, but the Raptor desperately needs it. This is the truck or the vehicle that gets driven the most and also washed the least. I cannot even remember when was the last time that the Raptor got washed or taken care of or it just needs a little TLC and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. This location is different than all of my previous car washes because it is different. I don't think I've shown it, at least not here on YouTube, but I do like it a lot better just because it is more private and also because there's shade here because of these trees, so that's really nice. Even though the weather, I guess for some it would be nice here in Arizona, or at least it's getting nice. Mm, me, not so much. I do prefer when it is colder. I'm more of like the cold weather type, but I can't complain because I do like the privacy and I do like the shade. So I would rather <laughs> do it here like this with a nice shade, with this privacy, a nice car wash. So I'm going to enjoy it today. So let me just show you my setup for today. I mean, this is nothing new and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this. So before I show you what I'm gonna use, I know there's a lot going on here. And of course, this is what I usually use. I usually have, uh, I usually use this pressure washer, but unfortunately, I'm not using it today just because in order to get this working with the holes, it requires this like different fitting that I ended up throwing it away from where I used to be before. And I just don't have it. So I did reorder it, but I just don't have it today. So I can't make this setup work. So we are going to take it old school. We're just gonna use a simple hose and everything that we have here. Again, I've used all of these things before. We just have some soap. We just have some, a bucket, a woolly, a brush. I mean, everything needed for the wheels. And we also have this foam device right here that I've used many times. I absolutely love it. So I have had pretty much all of these things or a lot of these things since 2018, since like my first car wash here on YouTube. And those are the same things that I continue using until this day, even though I'm gonna be honest, I am not washing my cars as often, especially not the Raptor. Basically because it gets used a lot, there's rarely not that much time to get it washed and also because it is such a large truck, large vehicle compared to my other cars, I'm kinda like, I don't really feel like washing that because it does take a lot of time. But let me show you how it looks so you guys can see why it needs a wash. So let me just show you a little bit more up close. So it does have <laughs> a lot of dirt on it that's just stuck to the paint. I guess just because it's white, you can't really tell from certain angles especially here in the shade, but I mean, every single time this truck is out on the roads, almost every other Raptor is like so clean and so nice and taken care of, and this one is the one that looks like absolute trash. So we're gonna take care of that today. First, of course, I'm gonna start off with the wheels again. Very simple, you guys have seen me do this. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do this, but let's go ahead and get the wheels, and then we will take care of the rest.
Okay, this setup right here, I really, really miss my pressure washer, but what can I do until I get that part so I can use it again? This is taking <laughs> forever. I mean, this hose, obviously it doesn't have that much pressure and this is as clean as the wheels are gonna get, but I mean, that's what I can do right now. This <laughs> should be fun because now I need to do the entire Raptor. And with this setup right now, this is going to take a lot longer than I had expected. I mean, I thought, okay, I'm not using the pressure washer. It is gonna take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be a big deal. It is a huge deal. Good thing I'm here in the shade, is not that much sun because once I start washing the Raptor using this hose, <laughs> once I'm done with one side, like at least just wetting it at first, the and then I go to the other side, it's going to be dry. And I have to start all over. You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go ahead. And <laughs> this is just too funny. I just, I missed my pressure washer, but either way, let's start off by wetting the Raptor and continuing this wash.
Okay, I am finished with washing the Raptor. Frankly, this is not my proudest moment when it comes to a car wash, just because again, I didn't have the right equipment. I had to just, you know, do it old school with this hose and everything, everything just went wrong. But there's no point in dwelling on it. Something is better than nothing. After all, it is a Raptor. It is most likely going to get dirty again really quick. This is the truck that is driven like pretty much daily. It is the dog car as well. So it is what it is. Again, something is better than nothing. Once I bought that hose, that new hose for the pressure washer, I it totally slipped my mind that it needed those specific very specific fittings to work with this pressure washer i will get that fixed and i will get those custom fittings pretty soon because i do plan on washing the camaro because i will be doing a d drives with that very soon i'm not sure exactly when but i will do it and it is a little dusty so i will get the right fittings for that because i need to do a proper wash just like the old ones with this this was just again this is just mm, not my best work but again it had to be done and another thing is that i looked at the weather and it's supposed to rain in like a few days so <laughs> since this is like the car that's driven the most if i am caught with it outside i mean if it's in the garage it's fine but if i am driving it outside and it decides to rain and all of this would have been for nothing but i mean oh well it <laughs> It did get a little bit darker here, so I will be drying it, but I'll be doing that off video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wash. There will be another one with the Camaro because I will be doing that Z-Drives, which I am so excited about. So I'll see you guys on the next one.